Hey guys, so it's Sunday afternoon in Bundy and you can see behind me there's a pretty hectic blow happening at the moment. In about three days time there's going to be a weather window where we can burn up north about eight hours to a place called Cape Palmerston where we're going to stay at Notch Point. So we did some research on this place and we weren't able to find out too much. So we're going to share with you the tide times we used to beach launch the boat and some other places like the amenities and the shops around the area. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Right, good morning everybody. Today we're finishing packing the boat and we're going to cruise up north to try and find some different ground to go for a dive and hopefully a fish. Hopefully the viz isn't too bad. We're kind of just taking our time putting everything in the boat. We're not too stressed about what time we get up there. Here's dad out working on the car. Last minute repairs. Looks like he's having fun. Push it. Finally got the new belts on. Yep. We're not long rebuilt this motor so hope it goes alright for us on the trip. Alrighty, so time has finally come. We're finally getting going now. It's two o'clock now. Not as bad as I thought we'd be leaving, but would have loved to have left a little bit earlier. But we just gotta I don't think we need to grab too much in town now. I think it's mainly just stuff from up there. That's rolling out. Sweet, so now packed. Ah. Hey Brad, Rogues is over here, he's getting ready. So we're all pretty keen to finally get underway. Keen or what done? Hell yeah, ready to roll. Yeah. Oh, squeeze in. Someone will think if they walk past and just see some dude filming himself eating fucking chicken. I'm sure that'll go down well with everyone. He slept in the car last night. Just got him out then. Some reason we didn't get a lot of sleep last night. It's a little bit noisy here. Jack's still asleep in here. Morning, Princess. Oh, there he is. Morning. Morning. Hi. Not very talkative. We're going to get Rugs go for a walk up the road here. Let him stretch his legs for a bit. And we'll get suited back up. Throw the swags back in the boat. And get on out of here. Won't hang around here too long. We're just pulled in here last night for about an hour and a half from where we're going. Hey. That white was hard to sleep. <laughs> but no, we pulled in here because we didn't want to drive into the campsite at night, not knowing where we were going, what was happening, so we'll just pull up here for the night, get a camp on. We'll get stuck in the car. Greg thinks this is luxury cruising in the Bajero. Gets to sit in the back seat rather than sitting in the tray the whole way.
went past the turn off back there, which was the turn off to Cape Palmerston, because we didn't calculate everything right. Well, we didn't um, go shopping before we left Bundy. We kind of half thought if there's a spur or something up at Cape Palmerston, we would have um, called in there and spent our money at the shop there. Yeah. But um, it just turns out there's nothing there. So, well, that's what they told us at the server already. I'll be just bored if we get down there and there is something. Yeah. But um, we're just heading up into Serena now to get our um, groceries, get our bits and pieces. So we just went past the turn off back there, but we get up here, get this stuff sorted, get on back down there. We're still like it's only 7:30 in the morning, yeah. so we're sitting pretty on time. We have plenty of time to get set up. Hopefully, the weather window that we've been watching. We'll, um, the weather will come good tomorrow morning. It's not looking too breezy here now, but yeah, um, I noticed that. Yeah. Fingers crossed, we'll be in the boat and headed for the islands tomorrow. Hopefully, yep. find a big old craze. Hell yeah, craze big tides up here, so we'll see how we go. This is, um, we're in the middle of the tide cycle, so it's the smallest tides of the month, but um, they're still big, yeah. they're still proper big. We just launched the boat. Little beach launch. Yeah, sketchy as we just launched the boat. Our car get bogged there. We had to pull him out. But uh, nice bloke. He's one of the pros here. Yeah. So, he's probably a bit more talkative because we gave him a bit of a hand too. But yeah, he said he's <laughs> a nice lad. Now he's got to run across that all over there to where that little creek is. Go run out, run out some pots. If we find something that looks ugh, half decent, we'll stop and have a fish there quickly. Because I'm not that keen to dive like that. Apparently dad is, but. So you I'll have a dive keen? if it clears up. Yeah, I will as well, but. Dad was pretty keen to get in the water before. <laughs> it's nice. You gotta run out to those islands, go find them big trout. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow the plan is we're going to go to the islands. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit of wind around still, but that should clear up soon. Yeah. Get pots out because we're losing the tide, and the mouth of this creek's only two meters, and we will yeah. lose it in next to no time. So, boys are getting all excited, yelling at each other at the moment. I'm going to drive up the other end of this creek, and we can sneak another three pots in here. Fingers crossed before we lose the tide because we don't want to be stuck here. We'll be stuck here for. About seven or eight hours. You're right. This when the teamwork comes on, when the pressure's on, and everyone's screaming. No, no, Come no, on, get it on there. There's no net. 
Jack's got the snooties on. Oh, he's a little snooty. He's a little snooty. Stop. Stop. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, <laughs> let me throw that straight. <laughs> oh, he gets emotional. It always helps when the pressure's on. To just put a little more pressure to put it under the ribs. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's being so emotional. He's just getting in touch with his emotional side. Yeah, so it's in the wild, you need to be in touch with your emotions. Are we in touch with our emotions, Jack? Shut up. <laughs> Alright, put it in the little crocodile hole. Throw that one up in the tree. That too, Jack. Alrighty, hold that. Alrighty, so finally got our pots out. Dad's been annoying the shit out of me the whole time. Finally cruising back. Show me a lesson and I've learned it. Show me a bridge, I probably burned it. Show me a dollar, yeah, I've earned it. This Notch Point area is truly I can't class. tell you where it went. Have a look at some of these drone shots. Show me time I used to waste it. Show me whiskey I still taste it. Show me hell and hell I've raised it. That's just who I've always been. I could go back somehow And get one more time around Give me one more time around The sun, I'd take it I'd run around this blue rock And give it all I got I'd live and let live Forget and forgive Please don't give up on me now Give me one more time Got things I need to do here A lot of air I need to get clear A lot of love, a little less fear Lift up all of those I let down Give me one more time around The sun, I take it, I run Give me a chance so I can give more Heaven knows what I'd give for One more time around Alright, so Gonna wrap up the first day Ended up being a crazy afternoon Into it. Boat is in the water, we probably could have launched a little bit earlier than now, but yeah. Anyhow, we'll see how we go. We just gotta make sure we just spoke to one of the locals, Jesse, absolute legend of a bloke. But he, he just told us about a few little rock bars so and see the disturbance on the water caused by them. So I'll be sure to avoid them on the way back in today. So I might even drop a couple of pins on the way past here so that we know exactly where they are just in case but uh, yeah we travel too far today and delete our track alrighty put you down so I can operate the sounder
but um, we're gonna get in the water now and have a swim around. It's um, it's diveable, it's about three to four meters. So, we'll get in, have a swim around, see what we can find. I'm not too sure about this spot, it looks like it's a bit more gravelly than anything, but it's shallow, we'll get warmed up here and go look in some deeper stuff. Go on, off braid. All right, let's get in and have a look. Alrighty, so we jumped straight in and it was pretty obvious that there wasn't too many fish getting around, except for this noisy whale. So at this point, there wasn't too many fish getting around. And we started to get a little bit desperate to the point where we found a little black tip reef shark and we decided to jump in with him to see if he knew where the fish were. I never thought I'd say that about a shark, but... <laughs> We'll be driving out state, yeah Look around for the next crowd, yeah Going our own way Trying to find a new road, yeah We'll be going in circles Trying to find a way Searching for The things we do, yeah Drop top without a choice, yeah Hair blown round to the window Singing stupid noise, oh I just wanna get to know ya I wanna go far to the coast, yeah I wanna drive fast to the ocean I wanna know all of you Growing old like a ghost, yeah I wanna have kids of my own, yeah Live a life till it's over But until we do It's sleeping too long I'm feeling a little crazy Set at home being lazy Wanna travel till I'm 80 Flying with you uh. Wanna take on the world and do something Would you by my side like it's nothing? Wanna buy you think that you want it Wanna find you Drop top without a choice, yeah Hair blow round to the window Singing stupid noise with you I just wanna get to know ya I wanna go far to the coast, yeah I wanna dive fast to the ocean I wanna know all of you Growing old like a ghost, yeah I wanna have kids of my own, yeah And live a life till it's over But until we do It's sleeping too long Exactly, get a lot of fish. Got one trout, that entire day. We're gonna go try some different spots tomorrow because a lot of the stuff we're diving is like pretty, I'd call it more ground weed, find some tuskies and stuff. It's more of that sandy, like crabby, weedy bottom, just stuff like that. We never really found many plate coral until our last dive. But yeah, it was still, still definitely a fun day. We'll try to some different islands tomorrow. Oh, so we've just been <clears throat> the end of the survey, get some more fuel, go for another run out to the island today. Well, I hope we will, anyhow. Weather's still looking pretty good. Apparently, we've got today 
and a little bit tomorrow but we'll probably won't do a full day tomorrow because it is going to blow up in the afternoon and it blew up yesterday afternoon even though it was predicted to be beautiful but um jack's just um doing his first bit of um track driving on his l's uh, learning all the different facets of driving yeah no it's been a fun little trip away so far we haven't shot a lot of fish but it's um yeah beautiful spot this is amazing this place yeah. uh, Dad's cleaning all my footprints off the boat from when I was walking around there last night. Braden's slowly making his way down. Just exploring another island here. Jack's dragging a lure while we idle around these pressure points. See if we can't find anything fun to play with around here. Jack's on. We're in all sorts of trouble here because the landing net Bray, can you try and get that landing net out? What do you got? Oh, don't think we're gonna need it. A little queenie. Is it? A little, little, little mackerel. mackerel. I was sitting on the boat for a little bit. Watch him. No, no, <laughs> Bray, is a fish. Well, look at that, buddy. We stuck a lure out just while we were trolling around, having a look, driving around, looking at the um, surrounds of this island to see if we're gonna have a dive here. The next thing Jack puts a little, he's only a little one, but a schoolie in the box. Plenty of life out here. He's just feeding up on the surface here. Not a schoolie. No, it's a decent one. Don't you drag. I'm rushing to get a lure ready because I reckon he might have mates with him when he comes up. I might get that on. Your mates? I don't know. Same, yeah. After I lost that mackerel, Dad decided it was time to get back in the water again. After we spent a few hours looking around in some holes, with getting the same result as yesterday, we decided it was time to go explore some of the outer islands. So we thought we'd explore another island today. Get Ruggs out the boat, and him have a run around. We're going up to look. Looks like another creek here. It was probably not the other one, but. Pretty cool rock. This is Curlew Island. <laughs> I'm not retarded, but I like rock. <laughs> and it's hot. It's nice. I know I'm in a wetsuit, but. <laughs> Ruggs hasn't got much boat experience, so we'll get on the islands and let him have a play around. There we go. Hey. Yep, there's actually water in this one, not like yesterday's creek. Tasty. No. Probably is fresh. Yeah. There's a fish. Down in there. Baby one. No, it's about that long. There we go. There you go. See you. No idea. It's a small, <laughs> it's a small bass. No, mate. He's made it. <laughs> Look, Brad, we found water. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink it, Brad. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's <laughs> 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 go on, buddy. It's a different kind of fitness, like Sam. Yeah. Walking about on stand, though. bud. This really did look perfect for a thumbnail shot. The islands of Cape Palmston were truly amazing. We were only able to explore a couple on foot. The only way to get a good look at these things was to launch the drone and get some footage from the air. Like this. Yeah. In about 20 minutes, once we've got the boat up where we're staying, it's gonna glass out. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Yeah. Did it yesterday. Yeah. Oh, we're probably lucky we left a little bit early today to come back in. Yeah. Yeah, I got my cousin coming to stay with us tonight, so we did come back a little bit early. Since we're up north, it was a good excuse for family and friends to come visit. So we just had Tone turn up. Tone's an old workmate of mine. The boys have been waiting to meet him for quite some time. His coaching of Jack's driving was, well, let's say questionable. Hurry up, I'll grow a fringe waiting for you, come on. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm here. Start I don't want to see what the roof's like. <laughs> oh, I'm making a new track. Oh yeah, it's going straight. Go. Don't right. go through the salt water. Yeah, my, oil through. my rubber went through. Safe sex.
beautiful little beach access down at Green Hills. Yeah, back to two-wheel drive, mate. Now we're gonna go and get some prawns from the caravan park. Say hi. Ow. So we're gonna put the backbone of the mackerel on as well. The backbones actually always come out really nice. A couple of boys come down for a beer. Here's a few of the local boys. Jesse, well, Tom, and Jesse. <laughs> you see these boys down here, don't be sure to say hello. They're um, being a wealth of knowledge for us here. But um, we'll definitely, I reckon, we'll get a few more fish next door. After, yeah, meeting these boys, so um, try to cook up our mackerel at the moment for a bit of a snack before we have um, cooked some steaks up for dinner. <laughs> so, so. But we went and pulled the crab pots today and caught F all in them. Didn't even lose a bait after four days, so that, that was disappointing, but yeah, Jess reckons that they actually the crabs seem to go out to sea this time of year, and um, like, yeah, he said another two, three weeks. What do you reckon, another two or month or so? About a month and they'll be fucking back, back into the creeks. They all go out to sea and breed, do their thing, and they all come back into the creeks here. Yeah, we could. So, we're a little bit, little bit out of our timing there, but um, we'll work around that next time. But um, certainly, beautiful spot. It's been um, pretty easy to take. Yeah. Especially, the, our bo the boat ramp is right behind our boat there. Magnificent. So, yeah. <laughs> so, you, you can have your dogs here and that. Where is Rude, by the way? It's right just there. Are you going to find him? There he is. Thought he'd gone for a walk. But <laughs> yeah, you can have your dogs here. Just so let them go past the That's fence. a big bonus. In it, Rugs. How's... Oi. <laughs> you think it's food. <laughs> but, um, no. Nah, we'll get into this. This stuff looks pretty bloody good. Yeah, yeah we've got some. Some left. Yep. You know what's good, though? Let's see. Let's see. It's a bit spicy, I hope you don't want spicy. Right? You should grow feathers and see this too. Cool. When you want That's to get off the <laughs> Right, so the reason Tony, like Tony, 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 I got a question. Tony, I got a question. <laughs> right, the reason why Tony wants to cook the asparagus. With the night getting on, the cameras will soon put to bed. Before we wrap this video go. up, we're going to share a little bit of information about the tides that we launched at Notch Point. Being a beach launch, it was a little bit tricky. We were a little worried when the very first boat we seen get retrieved while we were setting up camp, the vehicle become bogged and we ended up going and giving the guy a hand to pull out. Turns out he was a local bloke who was a professional fisherman and insisted that that issue only ever happened on the high water line. Over the next four days at Notch Point, we didn't seem to have any problems ourselves, even though our VC is a heavy little glass boat on a very standard trailer. We soon learned that the bottom part of the tide was much better for beach launching. Anything above about 1.6 metres meant you had access to the open ocean and the islands out wide. Look at that, Once the tide the reaches about 3.5 to 4 metres, it started to flood across the open flat beach section. This took away the angle of the ramp and made the beach launching much more difficult. It also meant getting the car wet to get the boat in enough water to float it. The locals at Notch Point were great people. It really was an amazing place to stay a few days. For a free camp, it's probably one of the best I've ever seen. There's a service station only 20 minutes away out on the highway. Also, a little caravan park over near Cape Palmerston that stocks a few essentials and you can also buy prawns from the local prawn farm that you'll actually drive past on the way down into Notch Point. Alright, so today's the last day of the weather window and from what it's turned out like we just decided now nah, let's go home it's been a pretty crazy trip here definitely enjoyed it definitely would come back i did enjoy it a lot all the people here are really friendly um the viz and the fish life wasn't what we'd hope it to be 
but still, definitely had fun. But I'm gonna leave it there. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay safe and have fun. Oh, you make me wanna talk back.